Hi, this is Josh Soy from Ridge Tool Company, and this is video number five in the CS1000 training series. This video covers playback of media, and then also being able to go in and edit old media as well. If you look at our screen here, you can see that we are currently on our fourth job that's being stored on the CS1000, and uh, you can see that we're currently recording it as well. If you go ahead and hit the, the easiest way to get into the current report is to hit the play button on the, the CS1000 controls. When you hit that button it's going to bring up that current report and on the right side you can see the most recently recorded media will show up there along with any comments as well. If you go ahead and hit the up button you can scroll up through it shows the time and distance out that these were captured. In this example I don't have the cable out at all, it's just at zero because it's setting inside of a pipe. But you can scroll up and see the different pictures that you've captured in there. Now on these pictures, if you notice in the on the left side where it shows the thumbnails, it also will show you a uh, icon indicating of what type it, of recording it was. If you look on the screen currently, you'll see at the top there's the auto log icon and then a video icon and the next one down and then you also see that there's a snapshot underneath that. The snapshot, the ways that you interact with it is you can go over here, type in comments and save them. If we go ahead and uh, scroll back over here to the left side, you can go up to the video and you'll notice that there's a play button on it. One thing that gets a little confusing is people will click on the, the video thumbnail on the left side to play and that doesn't play back. That actually removes it from the report that the customer would see. So I'll explain that in a minute here. But to be able to play back a video, all you do is right, uh, hit the right key over there. That will allow you to type in comments. And if you wanted to play back, you hit up and go over to the play button. And you can hear some of the, the old comments that I had on there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that. You can also go back there. So it takes it back into edit mode. Autolog is going to behave just the exact same way as video for you. So I'll go ahead and play that. And you can see that it looks and sounds pretty much exactly the same way. So I'll stop that one. And uh, that's about all there is to know about how you'd actually play it back. So this is how you would show the customer um, if you were showing them the playback right on the spot without delivering it to them. Now we talked earlier about clicking on these uh, thumbnails on the left side. What that does is you'll see that there's a long list of pictures and videos inside of this report. If we were to export this right now, all of these would show up on the customer's report. But a lot of times you're just recording stuff that you may not want them to see or you might be uh, trying to focus them in on the problem instead of having them look at 20 images or something. So if you don't want to show them to the customer on the final report, all you do is scroll down these thumbnails and uncheck them. We'll say, okay, the auto log we want them to see, video not, and uh, we'll get rid of the snapshot and just leave the, the snapshot with the captions on there. So right now all it would be was the snapshot with the captions and the auto log. And that's all that would show up on the report when you go to the customer. So we can go in there and preview this report just to verify that. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. And one tip and trick is that you can actually go and use the uh, up and down arrows on the keypad if you don't want to use them on the, uh, the actual controls or you can use them on your keyboard. So we'll go and hit report preview. It's going to take a few seconds to build that up. But once that comes up, you'll notice we don't have any customer information or anything because we didn't take the time to fill that out. But you will see that we have our pictures and videos. We've got our auto log at the top. And then you can see there where we went and put in our captions with that snapshot. You can see the, 
large joint displacement that actually shows up on the report there. So there's some pretty uh, pretty neat playback features in here, very powerful for being able to show your customer stuff. Um, but we're going to, in the next video, we're going to get into reporting and how you're going to um, touch up the reports, get them ready to show the customer, and also make it uh, efficiently export out to HQ and connect. For more information on the full line of Rigid products, visit the Rigid Forum at www.rigidforum.com. You will find over 30,000 industry professionals who give reviews, answer questions, discuss tips and tricks, and just general information. If you scroll down, you'll find a section called Rigid Central where all the products that have been launched in the last two years have a specific section where you can go in there and find information and discuss the products and even ask questions to the rigid staff.